Welcome Humanoid Nation. Yes, bringing this back. Instead of a top 40 list, it's now a top 100 list. Because there are too many shows that need to be remembered and that everybody has forgotten. But anyways, this is just part one from one to 10. Because I'm gonna do this separately instead of doing all at once like I did before. Because that took a while to do and it took way too long. And two reasons why, because I'm fucking lazy like that. And it's better to do it in different parts. That way you don't have it all together. And plus, people were asking me, like, to do it in separate parts. So let's do this. In no particular order. The 100 forgotten 80s, 90s, and 2000 TV shows that you may have forgotten about. Let's start this, guys. Number one, Over the Top. Some of you may not remember this show. It lasted 12 episodes. It starred Tim Curry from It. Excuse me, sir. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? You do? Well, you better let the poor guy out. <laughs> and Annie Potts from Ghostbusters. We got one! Over the Top is ex-spouses coming back together and working in a hotel. Great subplot. It was kind of funny, but not really, because it only lasted 12 episodes. And it gave us this future star in the making. Bye! Here is your ketchup and mustard and relish! Yes, that is Steve Carell. Doing a very failed imitation of Andy Kaufman's character from Taxi. At least that's what I think he's doing. Because it sort of looks like that. Did I mention this show lasted 12 episodes? And of course, it's Tim Curry. Who doesn't love Tim Curry, especially with this shit? Is it true you're really Japanese? I'm not Japanese. You just said you were. I didn't know you was Japanese. I'm not. I'm not Japanese. <laughs> Number two. Encore, encore. Some of you youngins may not remember this shit. I don't know why I remember this anyway. I watched it and it was shit. But I watched it anyway. Stars Nathan Lane. You know Nathan Lane, the voice of Timon from The Lion King and a bunch of other stuff. He stars as an opera singer who loses his voice, goes back into the regular day of society of jobs and works in a hotel. Just like the TV show mentioned before, like over the top. Damn, they sure did a lot of those back then. But it was the 90s. Who could blame them? And again, I swear this show exists because I can't find a TV show intro. Or anywhere on YouTube, but here is the IMDB page. Proof. Surprise, motherfucker. Hey, if IMDB has it on there, you know it's real. Right. Yes. Yes, I'm going with that. Number three. Mask. No, not the mask, the cartoon version of the mask. My God, this show was fucking awesome. I used to watch this show every day back when I lived in Luxembourg. Yes, I lived in Luxembourg for a time. And then came here. It's a bunch of bullshit story. Not a bullshit story, but it's a long story as to why I'm back here. Shut up! But anyways, back to the topic. Mask. A bunch of guys riding around in cars and transforms into other shit. Best description ever. And my most favorite fucking thing of them all is this thing. The chopper slash motorcycle. I always wanted this when I was a kid. I would mark out for it. I would ask my aunt for her to buy me it because she was always going to the toy store. And I never got it, which I was so bummed out. But hey, Mask had an awesome intro! Mask Crusaders working overtime Fighting crime! Fighting crime! Secret Raiders! Oh my god. The 80s were awesome, weren't they? Go on YouTube, watch their show. Moving on. Number four. Show it. Show the intro. I'm ashamed I watched this show. I'm ashamed I liked this show. Looking back on it, it was a waste of time. Just a cash money grab, but 
This shit exists. My God, does it exist? Oh, oh. Anyways, on to the next one. Number five. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, the animated series. Alrighty then. I will never do that again. That's just fucking scary. You know what's awesome about this show? It had a cameo of the mask of the TV show. You heard that right. Mask and Ace Ventura did a crossover. Here's the proof. Oh, that's just a picture? Well, here's a fucking video! <laughs> the guinea pig's refuse pod crash landed here and was taken by whomever or whatever is the mother of these eggs as one of her own. You saw that right. Your minds have not played tricks on you. Your mind is not playing tricks on you. It's the mask doing a crossover with Ace Ventura. Best episode ever. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty then! Moving on. Number six. Some of you may not remember this at all, but fuck. Good Behavior, starring Sherman Hemsley. Here's the intro. Hold up. Scott Grimes was in this? You mean this Scott Grimes? Leave it or not. And the Scott Grime who voices this guy? I'm not, I'm not feeling it. It's like the dress is wearing me. Quite a journey he has gone. Kind of funny that he's a token white guy in that show because it's about a black family. And of course, Sherman Hemsley, rest in peace. You are like the best pimp all around. And if you can find any episodes on it, it was worth watching simply because of Sherman Hemsley. And now that I know that Scott Grimes was in it, it's even better. Number seven. Hey, you guys like the Magnificent Seven movie? Of course you did. Actually, i never seen it. Please don't kill me yet. You're wondering what TV show? This TV show! <laughs> yes, they did a TV show back in the 90s. It was like, like, quite surprisingly lasted for quite a while. Cowboys, man! In the fucking 90s. Shit. But hey, they had a good theme song. Makes you want to see the movie, even though I never seen the movie. And I'm making myself look like an asshole. Alrighty then! Number eight. You know what was badass? This fucking show. Jeebus, son. Jeebus. This show was amazing. Waking up to the show every morning or whenever it was on, because usually I saw it in the morning and sometimes they change it into the afternoon. But whenever it was on, it was a lifetime event. Bucky O'Hare, the fucking rabbit in space, killing motherfuckers. Well, not killing motherfuckers because it's a kid's show, but fighting motherfuckers left and right along with his crew of misfits, the crew of badassery. That's what I call it now, the crew of badassery. The badassery, yes. But anyways, have you checked out their intro? Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare, Captain Bucky, Captain Bucky, Bucky O'Hare. Let's croak us some toes. <laughs> Rescue 911. Yeah, that was a show. It existed. It was awesome. YouTube it. Their episodes are everywhere on YouTube. Talk about growing up quickly in the 90s. They did not fuck around with this show. They did, simply did not. I still traumatized today by some guy who like OD'd on water and like fucking died from. And the way they did it on the TV show with actors, it was like a lifetime event. People crying, people dying. My God. And usually they never showed people dying, but I remember, I think so, because I only saw that one episode where somebody died and it stuck with me. But hey, it's Rescue 911. You gotta be fucking serious. Anyways, on to the last one. Number 10. No words can explain what I'm gonna show you now, but it was fucking awesome. Check it out. All of Transylvania in the vampire hall. Amazing theme song. In case of you don't know who, what this show was about, it's a duck who's a vampire. Lives in Transylvania along with his buddies. Get on mystical adventures. Ain't that a great adventure? 
No, not doing that again. But hey, Count Duckling was a shit, guys. It was indeed the shit, especially the theme song. Again! Hall of Transylvania, in the Vampire Hall of Fame, yeah. There's not a vampire than any other. Damn, that's better than sex. Wait, what? Better than sex. But anyway, that's it for now. Tune in next time, which is sometime. Which I will show you the next installment of part two of 100 forgotten 80s, 90s, and 2000 TV shows. Take it easy, guys. Humanoid freak out. Bye.